Runways can mark either the beginning or the end of a journey, both literally and symbolically. These paved strips have a special place in certain passengers' hearts, as for some of us, either takeoff or landing is our favorite part of a flight. But while on these journeys, you may have noticed that each runway is marked with a number at either end. But how exactly are these decided? For those who haven't figured it out yet, let's explain how things work. Those listening to excerpts from air traffic control conversations will know that, in terms of which direction pilots are meant to fly in, they are instructed to fly on three-digit headings. These numbers refer to the direction's compass bearing relative to true north. For example, a heading of 180 would represent following a path of 180 degrees from true north, in other words, directly south. Correspondingly, runways are numbered using a similar logic, albeit with a slight difference. Specifically, they are designated using their heading in decadegrees. This measurement sees its heading divided by 10. As such, rather than being numbered 1 to 360, they use a simplified 1 to 36 scale. As the point sky observes, this means that for a runway designated as 04, this could actually have a bearing of anywhere between 35 and 45 degrees. Sometimes a runway's designation may even change. For example, a shift in the position of the Earth's magnetic pole saw London Stansted renumber its runway from 05-23 to 04-22 in July 2009. But what happens when an airport has two runways that run parallel to each other on the same compass bearing? Of course, to have multiple runways with the same designation would be very confusing, not to mention dangerous. Thankfully, there is a way around this conundrum. In the case of two parallel runways, these landing strips will also be designated either L or R, short for left and right. These letters represent whether the runway is on the left or right-hand side of the pair. For example, London Heathrow's runways are 09 left slash 27 right and 09 right slash 27 left. When a third runway comes into the equation, the middle strip is designated with a C, meaning center. Three of Frankfurt's four runways are parallel, with the middle being numbered as 07C slash 25C. Some particularly large airports even have four or more parallel runways. In these instances, the C designation is not enough to separate all four landing strips. As such, airports will sometimes renumber a pair of runways by a factor of one to avoid confusion. For example, although Los Angeles International has four parallel runways, these are numbered in two pairs. Specifically, these are 6 left slash 24 right and 6 right slash 24 left, along with 7 left slash 25 right and 7 right slash 25 left. Finally, Honolulu International in Hawaii even has a W suffix on its runways. 4W slash 22W and 8W slash 26W. This informs pilots that it is a water-based runway for use by seaplanes. For those new to the world of aviation, we hope this video has provided a clear enough explanation as to how runways get their numbers, while providing a few interesting examples along the way. Did you know how runways are numbered? And which runway is your favourite to take off from or land on? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.